time to take a little lunch break. Registered dietitian Don Jackson Blattner is here with a healthy recipe from the chopping block. And the recipe today is hummus. Yes, you know, it is going to be the new year. And with that, we have to leave behind all of, like, the weight gain and the excessive eating. Yeah, we're all trying to lose already. weight. We're all there. Yeah, so the new year is really this first day to step ahead with a healthy attitude and healthy recipe. I like it. Yes, so I'm making white bean hummus. Traditionally, it's made with uh, garbanzo beans hummuses, but uh, this one is white beans. I love it. It's delicious. I've Any difference in how it tastes or not? Oh, it, it, yes. It's creamier than even the original, so you're going to absolutely love it. And it's super easy to make. Um, okay. I kind of adapted it from my book, The Flexitarian Diet. So it's sort of a vegetarian but tasty uh, kind of hearty thing to eat in the new year. Let's so you ready? do it. Let's do this. All right, so all you do, the base of everything is two cans of white beans that you just rinse and drain, and you put those into a bowl. Now, right there, that's that should easy. tell you. I can do that. Yeah, that should tell you. Open up a couple of cans. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Then to these white beans, I'm going to add one tablespoon of olive oil, which is very good for you. And I do not measure very much in the kitchen except for oil because that little tablespoon of oil has a lot of calories. It's like 120 calories oh. for that. So measure nothing except for oils. I like that. Uh, I have one um, just clove of garlic to give it a little flavor here. And this is one of my favorite parts, is to really give it good flavor. Kind of with a zest. Yes, it's the acid. All the chefs <laughs> call it acid. So we're going to squeeze in a good lemon. Lemon also has some compounds that may help prevent cancer. So that's flavor and disease prevention. So an entire lemon you want to put so in. So whole lemon. We're going to make it really deliciously fresh. Okay, so we have that in there. And then you'll never believe the I'm last two ingredients. You, I'm following you. This is good. Salt okay. and pepper. That's it. Okay, so okay. that's all we do. Now, no fancy equipment needed. This is a potato masher. And all you do is you go in and you just use, look at this is exercise too. So you, you're getting a healthy recipe, Biceps. you're getting exercise, and you just mash it up until it gets creamy. It takes about a minute. Okay, I can keep and mashing you, if you want to. Well, what I did, you know, this power of television, I yes. made some ahead it's of time. It's magic. Yeah, so I made some ahead of And I like to have a trio of white bean hummus. So not just one flavor. This is sort of like boring. Let's jazz it up. Okay. So one flavor is going to have, uh, this is, you know what this is? Pepper. Crushed red pepper. Spicy, mm. spicy. We think this might actually increase your metabolism slightly. Really? So that's good for the new year. Uh, and then we're going to put some fresh basil. So this is crushed red pepper and fresh basil. Do you have to mix it first. together or just put it together I like that? Like just this. sort of to dress yes, it up. Yes, to dress it up because then you can really put it on the pitas and all these veggies and you get all the flavor, but it looks really pretty. A second version I'm going to do is olives, which are very heart smart. We're going to throw some olives on this second version. I also like uh, feta cheese. Oh, I love feta yeah, cheese. Yeah, isn't it good? Uh, it's got a very strong flavor, so you don't have to use too much. What about so, using, like, gorgonzola cheese? Oh, that, I like think that, that would that be good? a great... Yeah, okay. you know what? I so think you can that's mix a, it up. Yeah, it's a great idea to kind of use this as your base, mm -hmm. but then explore other ingredients that you like. And in fact, I heard a rumor that you like to buy your hummus at the store. I do. <laughs> and so that's, hey, that's fine. You buy so hummus. Fancy over here. Yeah, we just buy, buy it. We don't make it. And what I like to do is put the little bit of feta and then dried dill on even the store-bought hummus, and it makes it look like, ooh, gourmet, gourmet. Yeah. but it's just that store about hummus. Um, and then the third version that I love here, this is really fun. This is rosemary. White bean and rosemary okay. go very well together. So we're going to sprinkle some rosemary on there. And then this is tart and sour, little sweet balsamic vinegar. Okay. So we're going to put balsamic that vinegar, right really? on there. Yes. I'm intrigued by that. I'm going to have to try that one. I love it. And you know what is even great when you're mashing, and I forgot to tell you, that white beans are good luck in the new year. So not only are they healthy and low in calories, hey, maybe oh, some I'm going to be luck. buying white yeah. beans all over the place. <laughs> Stores are going to run out. I like that. And, you know, you just serve it with all these veggies, obviously very healthy for the new year. And whole grain, 100% whole grain pitas. And I also like to finish it off with marinated artichokes you just buy in a jar. Uh, artichokes are one of the highest antioxidant foods out there, so okay. it, it adds a nice little texture to this dish. All right, it looks like we have to wrap it up, but healthy uh, in a hurry cooking classes at the Chopping Block Cooking School. Next classes uh, are scheduled for January 16th and at 26 Lincoln Square location. At the 26 Lincoln Square location, is that right? Uh, right. It's, it, yeah, January 16th and the January 26th. Okay, Come got to classes. It. All right, that made more sense, didn't it? All right, for more information on today's recipes, you can also go to wgntv.com slash We'll be right back. I'm going to taste this. Well.